everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am gonna be doing a nice little weekend away vlog. by the title and the thumbnail i am so excited for this vlog it's been a while since i've been at home vlogging because obviously it was my birthday and then i went away and then i had like a week and a bit off of vlogging just to have a little bit of a break and now i'm back and this weekend i am off away yet again but we are actually off to a nice little lodge retreat and i am honestly just in dire need of this weekend i feel like october has weirdly been like my party month which is weird because realistically that should be summer but i partied way more in october than i probably should have and the hangovers have been getting progressively worse i think because just of how much i've decided to go out so we're done with that now i'm having a super chilled out november and we have had this lodge booked for like i don't know maybe like two three months we basically tried to sort a summer holiday out for our friendship group and it just did not work out because everyone was busy at all different times and we couldn't work out a time when all of us could actually be together so we were like okay we're gonna have to do like a winter getaway instead so we're off to it's on basically like the edge of the peak district it's in ashbourne which is about an hour and a half an hour and 40 minutes away from here and we're going from friday to monday so today is friday and it is me byron callum callum has freya and tia so josh or sophie or jazz or flossie obviously isn't here because they were all busy and obviously jazz is away traveling but yeah i'm really 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 excited for us seven just to go away and have like a super wholesome weekend like i said it's so needed so because of how wholesome it is i thought i would take it upon myself to order some stuff from amazon for us to do because we're going away over bonfire night as well which i actually didn't realize until someone mentioned it to me the other day and i was like hmm that means we need to get some cute stuff so first of all after i ordered this this is basically just loads of stuff i ordered from amazon i ordered one of these murder mystery files because when me freya and callum went away to a caravan last year we did one of these and it took us so long so i was like this is a good activity to do on one of the evenings and then i have been seeing all over tiktok people do these like paint and sip evenings this little set here was 14 pounds which is so good actually if i can i'll leave a link down below to these items because i feel like a lot of people are going to want them but yeah it was 14 pounds and you get 10 canvases 10 easels 10 paint brushes and then some paint palettes then i ordered this pack of 24 acrylic paints and this is four pounds off amazon so it's just going to be such like a nice wholesome activity that i see loads of people always do and i managed to get it for under 20 pounds so yeah got that from amazon for us and then when i was laying in bed with clear the other night we saw someone do a tiktok and it was like a beads and booze in sort of night so i say we're not drinking we'll take a couple bottles of wine obviously and then i got this cute little like jewelry making set and like we can make some bracelets and stuff it's really giving wholesome vibes and then i ordered some clear trays just to display food on because obviously there's a lot of us and because it's bonfire night i managed to get this cute little pop-up paper fire and then i ordered some proper graham crackers because we're going to make some s'mores even though we don't actually have a fire so don't really know how we're going to do that like i don't know how we're gonna roast the marshmallows but i went to costco last night and we found like a big like bag of marshmallows and stuff so we'll do like a cute little tray and make all of that but yeah like i said wholesome weekend needed take a shot every time i say wholesome because it really is gonna be and also please don't judge if um we're all in pretty similar clothes the whole weekend because we're having to really minimize the packing because there's seven of us and we're only taking two cars and my boot is basically going to be filled with food because we're about to go and do the food shop and i feel like i've been a bit mum this week and i made like a full meal plan and everything that we need to buy and they've already sent me 10 pounds i've got like 70 pounds to go and do like our big weekend food shop with but for seven people for all meals i was like is that enough i don't know because I've, I've never shopped for more than like three people when i was at home obviously like me and mum and Atticus would do our food shop so i don't really know what a food shop for seven people looks like but yeah very excited just need to get away and just need to come off my phone for a bit like even though i'm vlogging and i just need time off my phone just to be with my friends and be present and yeah just enjoy going on walks and stuff so yeah i hope you guys enjoy if you do please smash a huge thumbs up and i'm excited for the homely vlogs christmas vlogs are pending do you know how exciting that is i'm so excited but yeah i'm gonna show you let me show you my suitcase and then we'll head to asda and we'll go and do the food shop just ignore the dishwasher if you can hear that going in the back but in here is everyone's vegas presents me and byron got everyone like stupidly ugly vegas presents to give them at the lodge and then this is my little suitcase this is the first time i'm going away for the weekend with a little suitcase for ages because i've been used to taking a big one everywhere so i'm not taking my makeup bag i've just got some toiletries and stuff in there dressing gown and a bikini because we've got a hot tub perfume and then there's a couple of changes of t-shirts a spare pair of joggers and a jumper and some shorts to sleep in so yeah very minimal this weekend and i'm very excited about it we're in asda we have
have a began at the food shop. We're doing scavenger shop that's a little bit easier. I'm really excited to do a food shop seven people, I don't know why, but I've got the list on my phone. I'm being mum and we're getting everything we need for the weekend. I am breaking my slight onion ban this weekend and I'm having onion again because I've really, really, really missed having it. Okay, update. We've filled one bag, beep, literally with full fruit and veg and now we're doing meat. So we've got chicken, mint, and we've got a big chicken on oh, sale. Wait, let me scan that and get it. Yeah. <laughs> big chicken for our Sunday roast dinner. Lovely. That's we've scary, nearly man. filled two bags and we've still got all of this stuff left to get. But working our way through is so strange doing a food shop for this many people. Like we've had to buy like three bags of cheese. This massive pint of milk. Three bags of cheese I and me and Callum still got And you've still bought separate cheese. This is a separate basket for Gallum and Gallum. We're so nearly done. We've just now got to get potatoes from the freezer section and Yorkshire's. Loads of nachos for the fajita night and then about 30 different bread rolls for like lunches and breakfast and everything. Yeah, now we're just all we're getting all clean and spray. Oh, I'm real. Girlies, we have arrived, but we're actually at the two bed lodge first because we have a two bed lodge and a six bed lodge. This is the two bed one. How cute is this? Cute little living area. The decor in here oh, is, like is gorgeous. Cute little table and chairs and then a nice like decking area over there. The kitchen. This does not feel like I'm in a lodge at all. This is like I'm in a house. Like it's a proper like wholesome homely kitchen. So cute. And then this is the little bedroom area over here. This is, I think Callum and has a bagsy in this one. This is so cute. There's a little bathroom over here oh my god this is so nice it's gorgeous it's fully like marbled bathroom yeah and the cute little <coughs> dressing table area here so cute and we have arrived at the other lodge it took us a while to find it but how gorgeous is this it's like right in front of like a massive rock face and the sun is setting we've got here at like the perfect time okay everyone else is being an angel and getting stuff from the car whilst i do you guys a little lodge tour before we put everything away but oh that probably wasn't the best place to start because that is just a boiler cupboard i'm going to assume this is a cupboard no never mind let's just restart the lodge tour this is a cute little like entrance hall area there's a place we can put all of our shoes and sit down if you want to put your shoes on i guess but how cute is this so you're going to walk in and i'll turn to the right first which is the living area how gorgeous is this like like i said with the other lodge this feels like a house rather than a lodge like it feels so homely and so cozy but yeah we've got two sofas here coffee table tv nice big chair and then obviously the weather isn't great outside right now but we do have a hot tub lodge so we've got a deck in with like table and chairs on for six people and then over here we have our hot tub i mean despite the rain we're also going to get in it later and it looks like a massive hot tub as well so very excited to get in that oh look the sun's setting as well how pretty and then we have got our dining table this is going to be so wholesome because like i said earlier when we're doing the food shop we've planned like all our different meals and stuff so we can actually all have like friend family dinners so that's so cute we'll just pull up one of the chairs when we're all eating so yeah i've got that cute little area there and then we've got the kitchen i'm so happy with the size of the kitchen we were stressing about where we're going to have enough room to put every like all the food and stuff that we've bought but it's so nice there's some like bar stools there and then you've got the kitchen area here like the breakfast area and then we've got a double fridge and double freezer so everything is definitely going to fit and this lodge comes with literally everything so there's like knives utensils everything like that even got a dishwasher a sink toaster kettle and then we've got i don't know if, oh that's a microwave i think and then that's the oven and then loads and loads of cupboard space but yeah this is the like main area of the lodge and then you're going to walk through here and this is the first bedroom this is the one with the two single beds in i don't know why the light isn't coming on in here actually hmm don't know why the light isn't coming on but there's two single beds in here got towels on the bed there's a tv in every room as well and loads of sockets and then all the windows are really cute this room is mine and callum's room that we have bagsied we've got the double room with the ensuite so we've got a double bed here two wardrobes nice little mirror area i haven't actually seen what the ensuite looks like but this is our cute little ensuite so we've got a nice little toilet oh this is a really nice size as well oh my god and we've got a double shower and the ceilings are so high oh my god this is so cute so yeah this is my mine and Callum's room and then in here there is the main bathroom there's a bath oh my god I'm one million percent having a bath whilst I'm here every time I check into a hotel and I see a bath I'm like oh my god definitely gonna get one and I never end up having time to have a bath but now we're here for the weekend definitely gonna have a bath in there so that's the main bathroom and then we have another double room at the back of the lodge again there's a tv in here as well that's so cute that nice little view it's just like trees and just 
peace. It's so nice being out of the city for a bit. And again, each like area's got like a wardrobe and towels on the bed. And oh, it's just so cute. I am gonna go now and help everybody bring stuff in because I can hear they're coming up to the front door with all of the stuff. So I'm actually gonna go and help. I'm gonna need to unpack all the food and get everything in the kitchen. Callum just brought my suitcase in. First lot of stuff. Oh my God. <laughs> Baby, I've got it. That's my surprises. I do, but I haven't looked. <gasps> Don't look, I just please. didn't think it was gonna surprise, be. My wardrobe is being used to hide things. Not that I really need to hide anything in that box because everyone's going to find out in literally an hour. But there's everyone's Vegas presents. I'm afraid I nearly just found them. So I managed to get them off and I'm going to hide them in my wardrobe. It's a little bit late now. We have all been in the hot tub and then it started to rain. So we've come in and Callum has been designated chef tonight. And well, you did offer to be fair. This is one time cooking. And we're cooking spag roll tonight. We've decided that tonight is our Italian and murder mystery night. So we're going to split into two teams and we're going to try and do some murder mysteries. I've also got one in the room as well. This is Callum's one that he bought. I don't actually even know which one this is, but I've got like the murder of a millionaire or something that I managed to find on Amazon. I'm so excited to do this. We did one last time we came to a caravan. It's so much fun. Update on the cooking. We've got onions and carrots in the pan. We've just listened to Has This New Song and I've just relearned the card trick that Darkest taught me when I was in Locked In. I forgot how to do it. I've just relearned here so I can show it to everyone. This is the one that I ordered. It's murder of a millionaire. So excited to do this. We need to decide our teams. I've just laid the table for everyone and Callum was like, oh, we should put napkins out for everyone. So we've just showed me how to fold them like this even though it was very self-explanatory it's giving restaurant we love to see it right we've decided some red wine is going in oh do you have to mix it or do you just leave it oh I don't know, I thought you were just going to leave it. Chef Callum has nearly finished dishing up. We've got garlic bread as well, and he's left the sauce to simmer, which... Oh, you serving up. Go on, baby, you serve up. Please put a what the f*** over this thing. Turn up the right intention. Dinner is served. Callum, thank you very, very much. Thanks, Thank Callum. This looks Callum. gorgeous. Cheers, Cheers girlies. Oh <laughs> <laughs> you look tiny. My camera never eats first. Billy Bobby Brown's gonna regret that. If she posts a picture of her food one day, she she's can gonna never. get. Yeah, Bye, she can you. never post her food ever again. Who's playing this music? Byron told me to put I feel this like I'm in like Ratatouille or something. Byron, it's really upset me that you've not put cheese on your pasta. I've not even started there, as you can see. I'm still stored. Who are you going for first? Because I need to point the camera over. Team Freya. Oh, right. They're the tamest one. Yours are quite nice. They're gorgeous. You've got to wear these tonight, girlies. Oh, they're so cute. They're your Vegas visors. Love that. I love Thank them. Thank you. Which one do you think I should give? They've come out the last. Yeah, Bye. yours is last. I love these two, which one? Overall. Well, has, babe. This is your t shirt for tonight. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I'm going to I'm actually wear that. I'm actually wearing that. I'm actually staying on that. Oh, I did put it on for a picture, I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing that for nice. Thanks, my girl. <laughs> Person. It's a lovely colour. Same, my girl. Callum, this one's yours. You've got your vest. <laughs> 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 Do you go wear that? It's so iconic. I'm getting yours. <laughs> your belly <laughs> colour. You've got to wear these. <laughs> I'll go and test them all out and try one for everyone. Let me see. Oh my goodness, mate. Love it, mate. So we say I've pooed and I can't touch it. So everyone's in the hot tub and there's only one bathroom. But no one's here, so I can chuck it out the window. Do you think I should do it or is that a bit bait? All right, okay. Baby, reach. Options in the bag. Mum. Uh huh. I'm really stressed. So I'm at the lodge, right? Uh -huh. And everyone's in the hot tub, yeah. right? And I've just had a poo and it won't flush. There's only one toilet and I'm really stressing out. I don't know what to do. Oh, nah, I don't know what, I'm actually like panicking. Like I'm sweating, I don't know what to do. Oh my God, why is it Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to do. Do you actually, what, what do you think? I texted Leah and she said I should throw it out the window, but I'm scared in case people will see it in the morning. Oh, no, you can't do that. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. I think you're going to have to do something like, I mean, I've never faced this predicament, but maybe you're going to have to, like, wrap your hand in some blue wall and try and, like, half it or something. Try and what? Put your hand in and, like, just kind of, like... In put 
Would it wear? No, it's like in a time of a great middle then it might get run to you. Then it'll like show me. What like break it up in the toilet with my hands? <laughs> Shocking! <laughs> a knife! <laughs> and when everyone sees the pooey knife in the sink in the morning, what do you think everyone's gonna say? <laughs> right, okay. Uh, a few times. But the thing, the thing is, so I've done it a few times, the water's gone a bit high. So I'm scared that if I do it again, it's gonna overfill. <laughs> I'm having food in a week. Put it in a shower gel bottle. Is that what you just said? <laughs> Mom, I'm gonna have to just put it out the window, you know. I'm gonna have to. Stop laughing, this is trauma. If I'm gonna get cancelled. Right, I'm outside. Okay, it's out, it's out. Don't say that, you make this feel bad. Mom, piss off. It's not funny. Well, yeah, what else am I gonna put in a shampoo bottle, Anna? No, we're actually gonna fall out in a minute, I'm gone. Right, I'll let you know how it goes. Right. Bye. <laughs> Break it over your hand. Right, we're going live. <gasps> we're gonna go Hi for everyone. A we just wait for some people to join. <laughs> oh right. no, down here you can pin the comment. Okay. You can, I'm pretty sure. What am I pinning? Say, so give us stairs. This is giving real childhood. Right, there's 3,000 people in now. Oh, so can someone said, give song, us uh, a dare? Uh, oh. Someone said, Film a YouTube video, really? playing a game. Okay. Someone's got to give us a dare, because I've got one of these cards that says go on Instagram live oh. and give us a dare. Day that? to kiss <laughs> us. <laughs> what was you just... Look what my mum's Is that the dare then? Is my mum here? No, my mum's put Sam Callum's. Josh, I dare you to kiss. Sorry guys, you've just Shut experienced up, my nose. I dare you to sing Adele in a handstand. Oh, that's an interesting that's one. That's interesting. I dare you to vinegar. do a shot of vinegar. Have we got a vin vinegar? No. Oh, we got to do this real sauce. quick, guys. We're going to pick the best air. Spoonful, Spoonful of mayo. Spoonful of mayo is quite good. What's the sauce? A shot of what's the sauce? We've got sweet chilli. We've got sweet chilli. Sweet chilli's not hot, I could do a shot. Everyone's saying call your mum. Okay, I'll call my mum and say something, because that's the big safe one that everyone has. Thanks, little dessert shot. Oh, I love you. I love you. Suck Byron's toe. That's also a good dare. Not with his feet. Oh! Not her calling the dogs out on live. Hmm. I don't know what the best one is so far though. Neither. The shot of mayo or the okay. shot. It's of... either a shot or I call my mum. But you're gonna. Oh, have to that's watch a good one. Call your mum and tell her you've yeah, been arrested and pulled over. over. Okay. Pretty good. Okay, you're gonna have to watch the video then because I've lost the card. Right, bye guys. Bye. Right, everybody be quiet. <gasps> Hello. Hello. Hi, excuse me. Pass the phone to mummy. No. Mum, I've got a bit of a problem. So, you know you stayed here before. Not where you are. No, no, but you worked with host seasons before. Yeah. So, we've had two people knock on the door. Yeah. For some... You know I told you they've given us two lodges. One is under your name. Oh, do it was just stupid. And they think that you and Atticus are coming. They've booked... Oh, they're, they're, they've... They I, Mum, I will forward you the contract now on your email. They've forwarded me the contract. Your name is in the contract with your Instagram handle. Well, you best get it off. <laughs> okay, I'm not really sure how I'm going to do that. Right, okay, <laughs> Stupid, right, Anna, get my name off that contract now. Okay, well, I've had two people knock on the door saying they've booked you and Atticus activities all day tomorrow. Because obviously you asked if we were doing activities. Anna, stop winding me up. Mm. Do you know, do okay, you what's your email? I'm going to forward you the contract. Do you think the lady from Post Seasons is mad? I mean, don't be silly. What's, what's your email? What's your email? Because I, what's your email? Because I've said to them I don't know when you're coming. You mean you said to them you don't know when I'm coming? Why didn't you say she's not? I didn't know what to say. Oh, aren't you silly? Anna, stop winding here. Can we go to the lake? We're not going late. Anna's on a wind-up. No, she's not. Well, what's your email? I'm going to forward you the contract. You can read it. Right, I'm going to read you out what's on the contract. Yeah, go on. Read it out. Hang on. I'm just getting it up. Oh, you're so stupid. Okay, I'm going to screenshot it and send it to you now. Keith. Oh my god, key things to highlight on pics and stories. Atticus Archery. Tune in at the stage of bungee jump. <laughs> and then it says wholesome time together with family in hot tub. Anna, you want to wind up? Alright, I'm gonna screenshot, I'm gonna send you the thing. What's your email? Look you under. Mean, look. Me the thing, right? The lady for postseasons. She's a very sensible lady, right? She wouldn't include my name in the documentation. I don't really know what to do. What do you mean you don't know what to do? Because they keep coming to the lodge saying that the second lodge is what? for you. They said that you were invited. Who keeps coming to the second lodge, Anna? 
the people who work in reception, we've had two people knock on the door because you've not been to collect your key. Mum? Who's in the second lot? Well, Mum, I have got other, other lists of activities if you want to change some of them. Anna. They're doing flight lessons. Oh, Anna, don't be so silly. Right, watch your email. I'm telling you for the last time, I'm going to send you the contract. Anna, I am worried about no contract. <laughs> I know that I am, you know, have no, you know. Right, I've texted you it. I'm, te I'm, text I'm texting you it out. Open it. It's influence to stay agreement. I'll text me now. Right, before I open this, it's better be a wind-up, I tell you. Well, they're saying that we can't stay for the weekend unless you guys turn up. Oh, let me read this. Scroll right down, it says you're on Atticus's name. It doesn't mention our name. Yes, it does. Where? If you look at the bottom, scroll right down to the bottom. Are you at number four, liability, under terms and conditions? Yeah, number four, yeah. And it says I'm winding you up. <laughs> you silly fool. I knew you were. Good morning girlies. We are awake and we are making bacon sandwiches. We have just realized we have forgotten to bring ketchup. So we're either having honey mustard in the bacon roll or are you having honey mustard? I don't know whether to have honey mustard or barbecue. Yes, babe. I'm gonna have honey mustard. Yeah, fuck it, I'll have honey mustard as well. It might be really nice. Okay, honey mustard taste test in the bacon roll. Maybe honey mustard is the new way forward. That is gorgeous. <laughs> We've just finished doing this murder mystery file and I can't tell whether it was an amazing one or whether like I'm just annoyed at myself and not understanding but we got every single clue right. I think we just came up with too many like possibilities in our head of what actually could have happened and come up with our own theories and then what actually happened wasn't one of our theories even though we got all of the clues. It does make sense. There's just too many things to throw you off but that was so much fun. I love doing stuff like that because I feel like it's really made me like think and made my brain work. Now I'm a little bit annoyed that I didn't fully get the 100% answer. However, it was so good. I would definitely recommend it. Apparently this one, The Murder of a Millionaire, is only 3.5 out of 5 on like the hard, the scale, I guess that's what you call it. So I'd love to actually do like a 5 out of 5 one to see how hard that was. We got it right. Well, when it, well we know who the killer was, but it just doesn't make sense. Well, it, do, it does make sense, but not with my theory. So anyway, I'm now going to pack this away and I'm going to get in the hot tub, try and clear my mind of all of this <laughs> Murder of a Millionaire. Like, look at all the evidence and stuff. The evidence is so cool. There's so much stuff and it's good because you don't really like know where to start with any of it you kind of just have to figure it all out but yeah would highly recommend this as like a starting one if you want to get into doing this sort of stuff So Freya did in fact help me in the kitchen because cooking for seven people is quite a lot, but this is so good. Imagine me doing it all on my own yesterday. We've finished eating dinner and we are having a paint and sip night. I've seen these all over TikTok and I've wanted to do it for ages. So obviously ordered the little easels and the paint and I'm just looking on Pinterest for something to paint. We've got some pictures going up. This one is Tia's. So good. That one was Freya's. This one was mine. That one's Callum's, obviously. She's painted the easel black. And then those two are Klee's. They're so good. Everyone else is still finishing theirs, but very proud of us, guys. We've got quite an artistic streak in our friendship group. Here are all the finished canvases. Well, Byron's isn't finished. He wants to add yellow to the outside of it, but very proud of us all. They all look so good. Has is cute as well. She's done a little woman floating in the water. Aww. <laughs> Bring it back to you. Yeah, I know you want to do it yellow. Good morning, everyone. It is now Sunday and I've just woken up. i still in my dressing gown and I'm having the time of my life. It has been so, so lovely. Obviously, last night you would have seen we did the sip and paint evening and then we had a games evening all night. We were just playing like random, like guess the Disney song or like guess the logo quiz and all stuff like that. We played on Kahoot and it was so good. I never used Kahoot before. Everyone was like, oh my God, let's play it. And they said they used to play it when they were younger at school and stuff, but I just never had it at school. I don't know. But um, today, 
today is Sunday, like I said. I'm about to go and make myself a bacon roll again with honey mustard because that might be my new favorite breakfast. So weird with honey mustard, but it's so good. And then we're gonna go for a walk today. It was raining all day yesterday. That's why we didn't go out because it was like pouring it down as well. We're gonna go for a walk. I think there's some like caves nearby we've been told about that we're gonna go and explore, which is gonna be really, really nice. And then I think we're gonna have a little drive into the local town. And then this evening we're, oh, it's bonfire night tonight. So we've got some sparklers, we've got some marshmallows and stuff like that. And it's gonna be really, really cute. So very excited for a last like full wholesome day in the lodge. I'm gonna miss this lodge so much. Yes, queen. Oh, I can't tell you this. <laughs> Never mind. I'm so unfit. We're just walking up the mountain. I think I'm it's so harder. Unfit. <laughs> I'm so unfit. I think it's harder because it rained all day yesterday, so it's raining really money. There ain't no way. Huh? We said we were gonna hot tub it today. Yeah, why not? Not hot 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 hot. it. We're loving the fresh air if I was sat. But I'm pre I'm pre period. It's a lot. <laughs> They're gonna try and climb basically a vertical hill. I don't think so. Well, if they can, props to them, but go on, Tia. I love how she's doing it in flared joggers as well. What a fashion queen. Okay, girlies, we are back from our hot girl walk and now it is time to make our roast dinner. We've got Love Island Games on. We're all obsessed with it. We're on episode two, I think. Oh no, we're in episode three. Oh, we're in episode three, so this is the last episode to watch. But yeah, we're gonna try to make a roast dinner now. We've decided because we had two onions left, so I've just chopped them all up. We're gonna put onions in with the carrots and parsnips, so I'm also gonna put it in with my cauliflower cheese. I've never done this before, but it just sounds like it's gonna be really nice. So I'm just making my cauliflower cheese. Who's this is the kissing? best recipe ever. Oh, who's he kissing? Oh, Sorry. he's picked her up. Oh. oh. <laughs> anyway, cauliflower cheese. I've part boiled the cauliflower and then I've put pepper on it, drizzled it in honey and put onions in it. Then in here, I've done butter, milk and cream. I'm gonna boil this for like 15 minutes. Put cheese in, pour it on, more cheese. Best cauliflower cheese ever. Just some appreciation for how thick this gravy is. And we've put onions in it and the chicken fat as well. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, we've started to dish up. The roast looks so good as well. Has has basically bought loads of different seasonings. This is probably gonna be the most seasoned roast dinner I've ever had. It turned out so good, guys. Obviously, we're gonna mix it. Oh. It's giving Christmas Day. Also, look at the little fireplaces out in the middle for bonfire night. Happy bonfire night, girlies.